Hello, hello. Sorry. <laughs> it's Kim here from the Farmhouse Decor DIY Club. I'm here to do a Facebook Live tutorial today. Well, tutorial. I'm going to try something, okay? I've done it before, but it's been a very long time. So I thought I'd give it a shot in front of you live. Why not, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what could possibly go wrong? So I think I've got all my supplies, but if I don't, I'll just run over there and grab what I need. Hi, how are you? I'm glad you popped on. So I'm going to do a little craft, a little, uh, not a craft. I hate to say a little craft because that sounds like I'm making like, you know, sticking feathers on, gluing feathers onto a paper. I'm going to do a little something, something I know what to do with candles to make them a little fancier than this. And it's kind of cool. Hey, Susan. Hi, how are you? From North Dakota. How's the weather there today? We're getting a, a tiny bit of snow here today. Just a little bit. Like uh, we haven't gotten what we normally got. We normally get at this point in the year, but I'm like, I'm okay with it. I could have a green Christmas. I'd be cool with that. I think I've seen one green Christmas in my city in all the years I've lived here. And that's been like 30 years. So I'd be happy to have a green Christmas. Hi, hi, how are you? Hi, Lisa. Hi, how are you? Oklahoma. I know you probably had some snow too. I'm talking central now, right? So I picked up these little um, candles at the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. Uh, I grabbed a couple because I'm going to try a couple things. And you guys are going to just go along for the ride, hopefully. So I hope you don't mind. And what was I going to say? Oh, did you notice that um, I started a group? I started a group so that we're not just all on the page and you guys can actually post stuff that you do because I'd love for that to happen instead of me having to post it for you. You post it to the group. Hi, Dina. Hi, hi. Tehachapi, California. Okay. You've made these. They are great. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's... Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing yours. Okay, so join our group. All you do is you go up and you just, uh, uh, there's three questions to keep out the bots and the spam so that we can keep the group, you know, uh, it's minus six and snow in uh, on the ground. Burr baby, it's cold outside. Yes, it is. Uh, it's, it's pretty cold here too. But hey, it's winter. So unless you're in Florida or California, you know, lucky devils. But anyway, so as I said, my name is Kim. This is the Decor DIY Club and uh, Farmhouse Decor DIY Club, sorry, that's a mouthful. And I do have a group that I just started. There's about 50 people in there now. We're a little more, uh, you know, uh, you can post, I can post. We don't have to stay totally on target. We can talk about different things and uh, we're not just all decor all the time. So, but I'm gonna do a live video and I'm going to do something with candles today that maybe you've seen, maybe you haven't, but I think it's kind of cool. And it's always fun, and it's always a great way to zhuzh up some Dollar Tree candles. Awesome, Susan. Good for you. Susan's joined already. If you haven't, be like Susan. Susan's cool. Uh, it's Amber from Kansas. No snow in your area. Hi, Amber. Hi. How are you? Um, no snow yet here either, really. Not to speak of. We got it once, and then it went away, and then it'll be back, I'm sure. Um, so I'm doing something with candles today, and I have here... This is a, just a napkin, a um, paper napkin. Okay. And this is a uh, tissue paper I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so you need something super light. I'm like, that's what you need. That's the idea here. Now, I'm going to put a towel down because I'm going to be using some heat. And this is a plastic tablecloth. Can you imagine I'm using a plastic tablecloth? But um, I'll melt it. <laughs> and it probably wouldn't be the first time. So I'm just going to pop towel down here just to keep things from uh, going south too fast. All right. Hi again. Oh, Amber. All right. So how's everybody doing? Are you all ready for Christmas? Trees up, gifts bought, wrapped, all that kind of stuff. Uh, my tree is not up. I have bought about three gifts. I have nothing wrapped. <laughs> but to be fair, I'll probably get that done um, next week. This weekend, I'll put the tree up and I'll post a picture, but I'm not decorating it till my daughter comes home to visit on the 20th. So the tree with the lights will be up, but there'll be no decorations on it. Nothing. You either, Susan? Okay, I'm, I'm, I don't feel so bad. We're all in the same boat there. So, um, but the lighting sucks today. Oh, well, what are you going to do? If you can see the project, that's the only thing that matters, right? <laughs> I don't care what's going on behind me here. As long as you can see me and my project, then we're good. Uh, so, like I say, join the, the, uh, join the group. That'd be awesome. I would really appreciate it. Um, because there's lots of times when I want to chit chat about like puppies or grandkids or things like that, but I don't really want to put that on this page. It's kind of um, not only private, but it's it's way off target and and kind of you know if you were to come to my page and see all kinds of conversations about grandkids, 
Uh, thanks, Susan. Um, you might think, what are we doing here? This is not a decor DIY club. So, you know, this is kind of like my storefront here, this this page. And then the um, the Farmhouse Craftaholics Club, which is the name of the group, is our like our clubhouse, right? Where we talk about all things crafty, but also, you know, other stuff, like, like, cause life, right? So, um, we can't stay on, like, on just on one single topic. Hi, Vicky, hi. Uh, Vicky, oh, nice. All right, so, I picked up a couple of these. I'm just gonna take the, uh, wrapper off. You can leave that on the bottom. Now, when these are done, I make no claims about their safety as far as burning. Now, I use pillar candles. I've used them lots of times, never been a problem but this is use your common sense, okay? There's a reason I'm not using tapers because they burn down. Pillar candles burn like in on the inside, so I'm more comfortable with that. But again, you never leave a candle unattended. I mean, I don't think I should have to say that, but I'm saying it anyway, just, you know, just in case, right? So never leave it unattended, but um, I mean, they're really just decor. Like they're, this is what we're going for today. So I'm gonna take, I wanna put this little truck on here. Okay, um, so I'm going to take my handy dandy scissors, oh, the good ones, yeah, and I'm just going to trim this out, what I want, what will fit, and I've, I bought this pack of napkins last year, and I'll, I'm so glad I did. It, um, I've used them for all kinds of things, and it's been a what a three dollar investment well worth it well worth it all right so i'm just trimming out the napkin now but i'll show you i'm going to take it apart okay um there's layers let's see if i can get them and i want to pull it apart this one's a four ply i think so i'm going to pull this apart and i think there's one more now you can see i pulled off one ply okay i'm actually going to trim it down a little closer get that out of the way and um, not sure if I'm going to keep that established part yet. I think there might be another layer on here. It's never, um, if there's always more layers than you think. If it says, oh, there we go. I want this to be as thin as I can get it. There we go. See how that comes apart like that? And you can see the back of the ink and all that sorting photos for a photo calendar all right hey tanya i saw your picture the other day of the reindeer at the home hardware <laughs> i had literally walked by it with my neighbor about uh 20 minutes before can't find anybody the truck must be crazy this year i don't know yeah you just got to grab them at the grocery store this was at the grocery store this wasn't even in anywhere else so so i'm just pulling it apart okay so now i just have this that's the single ply out of the three or four that it said it was on the the pack okay or you can use tissue paper, but see, it's just down to a single ply, and you can see through, basically, you can see through it, which is what you want, okay? Um, that's important. I mean, it doesn't have to be that, but this just makes it easier, okay? So the tissue paper is actually going to be a little thicker than this. So I'm going to take this little picture, okay? And I'm going to find, now you can see there's kind of a, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of dented on that side, dollar store candle. Um, reindeer was so cute. Yeah, hopefully a local guy does make them. I don't know. Um, so I know one of the fellows that works there makes, uh, he does like wood signs and stuff. So maybe it's him. There we go. So we're going to put it on like that. And you would think I was going to decoupage it on, but I'm not because glue doesn't really want to stick to this. I'm going to trim it down a teeny bit more because it's just a tiny bit too big for what I want. And you can trim around the wheels and stuff, okay? That's just completely up to you. I'm more concerned about the, uh, the, the length of it, okay? So now we're gonna find the good side. I want this to be on, okay? So far, so good. Do you understand? Do you all see it? Okay, all right. Now, we also need some wax paper, not the Reynolds um, paper with the plastic, just basic, plain old fashioned wax paper that you would, you know, put a sandwich in or um, not parchment paper, not um, 
What are the other things? You, the Reynolds one is the other one that people might choose. No, nope, we want good old fashioned wax paper. All right. And we're going to use this to hold that on there while we do something fancy. All right. So I've cut it a bit bigger. Just decide where you're going to put your where you're going to put your design, okay? With the least amount of layers you can get, like um, see how that fits on there. Still a bit big up there, though. Let me trim that. I'm in a, um, a Facebook challenge today. I'm in a, a group. I think I posted it earlier about the 100 perfect people. I'm in the uh, challenge. And one of the things we're supposed to do is go live today. I was like, well, that's easy for me. Because um, I've been going live for over a year now. So, but oh my goodness, the poor people in the challenge. There's like 8,000 people in that challenge. But today, they're all supposed to go live on their page for the probably the first time for a lot of them. And they are freaking out. Freaking out. Uh, they're just, they don't know what to do. They're not sure what they, sh like they're just losing their marbles because public speaking is probably uh, wax paper with no wax. No, wax paper regular old wax paper this old-fashioned stuff okay no Reynolds wrap with the plastic it's um in a blue bigger box it comes with plastic it's freezer paper don't buy that okay or don't use that okay Reynolds wrap uh, freezer paper don't buy that so oh yeah they're flipping out <laughs> it's, it's funny but to be fair I remember my first time going live and oh I wanted to like pee my pants and throw up and um, it was tough you know so but you start to get comfortable on camera and then you know uh when you don't care so much about how you know if it falls apart it falls apart it's okay it's live what are you gonna do what i love about facebook lives is one and done right like there's no takes i've done videos where you you know edit it all together and all that but you want them to be perfect and then you think oh well i didn't say that right or i didn't do on facebook live it is what it is, right? So, uh, you know, hopefully nothing horrifying happens, but uh, just mistakes happen, stuff like that. So, yeah, so it's been uh, funny to watch. I knew when it came out, because this is my second time through this challenge, um, I knew when it came out that that was going to be two things happen. You had to make friends with people you didn't know, and you have to go live on your page. And I knew both those things always bring out the, uh, hi, Sherry, hi, how are you? Hey, Sherry. Do you know any Swaffords in Ontario, Canada? Because I know one other Swafford family. My kids used to go to school with them. Um, they're here in my city. So uh, I think I asked you that before. So do you have any relatives in Canada? Or would you like to meet some? <laughs> I don't think she's on this page. She's on my other page, my, uh, my, same, my sign painting party page. All right. So we've got this like so. We've got this like this. Now we need... Something to keep your hands from getting burnt because you're going to be using a blow dryer or in my case I'm going to use a heat gun because it makes far less noise and it's what I have and I'm comfortable with it. So you use what you have when you're comfortable with but you need something to protect your hands because you're going to be holding this with the heat gun on it at the same time. I'm not sure you'd be total goofball. I'd love it. That's They're the best Facebook lives, right? The total goofballs. Um, not too concerned about themselves. It, it just makes you feel like, oh, you know what? Maybe I could do that, right? No, no relatives up here? Okay, well, like I say, Swafford. All right, before I get too carried away. So we're gonna put the wax paper on it. See how I'm using it to hold that in place? Can you see that? Now I'm gonna try and do this so you can see it while it's happening. We'll find out, right? I'm gonna apply heat. Uh, let me see if I can. Let me turn it this way. I'm gonna try and do it so, just to make it interesting. So you can see it while I'm doing it, okay? I'm gonna apply heat to this, and what's gonna happen is that tissue paper, the wax on the outside is gonna start, on the outside of the candle, will start to melt a little bit, okay? And this tissue paper will kind of be absorbed into it, and it will basically turn into a part of the candle, okay? There we go, all right, so. Let's see if you can see this while it's happening. Can you see that? It's not happening yet. What happens is you'll start to see the edges disappear and it'll look kind of wet. Can you see it's starting to look a little bit wet? But you don't want to get too close and burn it. 
So you got to keep it moving. All right, keep it moving no matter what. You have to, you can see it's starting to look a little wet. That's why you, you want to keep this fairly tight. Oh yeah, you can see it's starting to look a little wet. That's what you want. Can you see that? That's what you're hoping will happen. That's when it's starting to embed a little bit. This is interesting trying to do it in front of you instead of in front of me. <laughs> See why you need a glove or a mitten or a, I use a, I used to use an oven mitt. Can you see that? Okay, good, okay. Susan says she can see it. All right. This works with a blow dryer too. All right, let's see how we're doing here. So then you peel off your Peel off your, uh, well, there you go. It did. You peel off your wax paper. You're not entirely done with that. And then it's basically embedded itself into the candle. Okay, and it's really hard to see the edges. Now I'm gonna just do a little bit here. So I can see the edges a little bit, so it hasn't quite taken there yet. So just do that again. And because this is wax paper, it doesn't um, stick to the candle too, right? So now this side is not done, so I'm going to do, see that? It's popped up, so I'm going to do that some more. Be careful, it's really hot, especially if you're using a, a heat gun. They're super hot, but they don't, they're not really... Um, they don't blow a lot of air, which is useful in this situation. So you want to do your hottest setting of your blow dryer, but on a low um, air speed. All right, so can you see what happened there? It just melted into the candle, let me see. And it has now become one with your candle, and now you have no longer a dollar store candle, or at least it doesn't look like it, right? Now it looks like something really that you, you bought at the boutique. So now you put it on a, a cute little plate or a cute little candle holder and you know put some decorations around the bottom maybe and light it up and you got yourself a gorgeous little candle that's right on trend so and nobody knows the difference okay so how's that everybody uh, enjoy that was that what you were expecting I was gonna do <laughs> I know it's so I mean I have a million things in my head of things I've done I did this probably 10 years ago learned how to do this and then I thought today Oh, I should show these guys how to do this because there's so many things in this head of mine that I, I've learned over the years. I've picked up tips and money-saving ideas and ways to get what I want cheaper. And um, so that to me is what crafting is all about is one of the things. So, all right, so then you can make, I mean, you can totally do this any season, right? You can do this with any kind of napkin. Like I say, pull it apart so you have as the one single ply. That was so easy and pretty, I know. And then you tell people, Oh, I hand painted it and it took me forever. Like you should see all the little lines I put in there. And uh, yeah, it'll cost you $75 if you want to buy it. <laughs> oh, got you. I got your back. If they ask, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, I don't know. She hand painted that. Like I know we all look identical. That's how good she is, right? <laughs> so that's number one. I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to grab some tissue paper. Now this is Dollar Tree tissue paper. All right. And I did try it on... Um, because I am that kind of girl. I did try it on one of those candles that's uh, uh, battery operated. But it, although it has wax on it, it didn't seem to want to work. I may try it again though with the heat gun because I tried it with the blow dryer and it wasn't, um, this is me, where are my scissors? This is you too, right? I know that. <laughs> yeah, tissue paper works fine too, Tanya. Um, I, no, wrapping paper would be too thick, 
Okay, so tissue paper or um, paper napkin pulled apart as many plies as you can get off there. Uh, you want thin, thin. Uh, so I'm gonna use the joy to the world part on here. And you just cut what you like. I'm just gonna decide what I'm gonna do. So we'll put that out of the way. So I'm taking this and I'm gonna cut out the part that I want, okay, and just use that. So uh, wrapping paper would probably be too thick. I don't think, I mean, unless it's super thin wrapping paper, but I don't think that that would do the trick. So I'm gonna just kind of figure out where I want, what I want to show. All right, we'll see if it's gonna fit on the candle. Have you seen it done, Susan, on the battery operated ones? I was trying it today, and I think maybe with my heat gun, but definitely not with my blow dryer. It wasn't working out. So, but if anybody's done it, definitely post a picture, because uh, I'd be curious to see. I thought it might work, and I bought a couple to try for that, for that reason, because I figured, well, why wouldn't it, right? But for some reason, all right. Now, it's just, you just have to decide what you want. I think I'm just gonna go with the wording here and I'm gonna get rid of all the other stuff except for that little bit underneath there. You just have to decide for yourself what you want your candle to look like. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the wording. So I'm gonna go with this, all right, out of the tissue paper. And you could definitely do both sides. Do one side at a time, okay? So I'm just gonna put that on there. And I think uh, that'll be cute together. Okay, let's see, can you? Anyway, I'll show you and I'll, of course, do the glamour shot later on, right? So we do this again, we find the, the best side. Now, normally when I do this, I do it in front of me on the table. And so, like that. So I'm gonna get rid of that little tiny, I don't think it's gonna matter, but that little bit that's hanging off there. I haven't done it yet, but might have to. Uh... That, that's right, you tell them that you worked on candles all day, Susan. <laughs> I mean, you can knock these out really fast, right? Like, um, takes me longer because I'm talking to you guys, but honestly, like, probably take like five minutes if you weren't busy talking away to your friends. Um, it's also a great thing to do with a bunch of friends because your your project looks so amazing at the end like they're all impressed by them with themselves so if you want to um, bring your friends to your house and teach a little craft class um, this would be ideal for Christmas and not expensive like a couple dollars each two dollars for two candles and then a bit of wax paper and have them all bring their favorite tissue paper all right so we've got that on there like that, I'm gonna just heat her up. Oh. We have a stray. Oh. And like I say, with the heat gun, with either one, go on low, as hot as you can, but as low as you can with the air, okay? And you'll see it suddenly start to look wet, and you'll know, oh, it's, yeah, you can, I don't know if you can see it happening, but I can see it happening right in front of me starts to look wet, the wax paper starts to look wet, and underneath kind of looks like it's gotten wet with the uh, with water, let's say. And then, boom, there you have it. Let me see, joy to the world, the Lord is come. Can you see that? All right, look how, let's see if I can get that. Look how that looks like it was written right on there. People don't understand how much work we put into our projects. That's very true. But in this case, we didn't do a lot. <laughs> but we just keep that little secret among ourselves. So uh, I'm trying to get the best. Ah, my lights. Whatever. I'm a crafter, not a... Oh, there we go. I'm a crafter, not a techie person. Okay, so there's that one. And there's this one. Uh, and I think they look kind of cute together as a little set. So... I'm going to put them on some plates. I'm going to put some, uh, let me see, some um, little greenery or something around it, you know. And, uh, yeah, and I'm going to make that a little, uh, maybe put some bells and some pine cones and some stuff on the plate with these two things. And wouldn't that be a cute little hostess gift or, uh, 
you know, for the teacher, or you could put teacher sayings on it. Um, totally the sky's the limit. Whatever you can find for tissue paper and whatever you can find for napkins. With the napkins though, just be sure that there's white space around the thing that you want so that it just blends right into the white of the candle, okay? And I cannot remember, it's been years since I've done these, how this works on colored candles, if it works well or not. So that's maybe another another day, right? We'll give it a try and see what happens. So, but it looks it works great on white candles and uh, it gives you like an awesome little um, gift. So, let me get rid of that. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, ladies and ladies, all right. Oh, my pleasure, Susan, I'm really happy to do it. So I will be back on Saturday. I'm um, doing, I don't know what yet, I kind of plan them as on the fly. Uh, if you guys have anything you think you want to see me do, send, definitely send me a message because I'm happy to try, right? Um, if it's anything within my scope, I will definitely give it a shot. Oh, thanks, Belle. Um, but, you know, I, I want to do what you guys want to see. There's no point in me doing everything I want to do. So I'm here because I want you guys to enjoy this and I want you to uh, get benefit out of it. So definitely join the group. Um, so we can chit chat and get to know each other a little bit better and sprinkle the video if you wouldn't mind so other people can get the benefit of this although once you do that your friends will know sorry but hey it's worth it it's worth it um, <laughs> all right so Sherry are you gonna make some of these um, do it with your blow dryer I'm sure everybody has a blow dryer at home where they can borrow one from somebody and some wax paper Dollar Tree candles and you got some great gifts all right guys well, it was good to see you again, and I will be back on Saturday. I'm not sure what time. I'm still kind of working out the hours on that. Six o'clock last Saturday seemed to be really good. So if you think that's a great idea, um, give me a thumbs up on the six o'clock, and uh, maybe I'll do that again. So, all right, I'm ready to go. Cheers, folks. Have a great day. I love you all. Bye-bye.